always look forward to the next part of our pageant. While we have met all of the young ladies who are semi-finalists, we haven't had the opportunity to get to know them, hence the interview competition. The young ladies don't know the questions they'll be asked, and nobody knows what their answers will be, so be ready for anything. Our audience at home will see the average score each contestant receives in this part of the competition, but those scores will not be seen by our panel of judges, our contestants, or the audience here in the theater. Each young lady has been advised that should she decide she needs or wants one, a translator is available for her from Berlitz, official interpreter for the Miss Universe pageant. Now, our first young woman in the Miss Universe interview competition is you, Miss New Zealand. Would you step right over here to me, please? She is Lorraine Downs. She's 19. She lives in Auckland. She's a model. And Miss New Zealand, many Americans are curious about your country. Why don't you just tell us about New Zealand? Well, New Zealand is a beautiful country. It's a very natural green country, and if you like the easy outdoor life, then you like New Zealand. And at home there in New Zealand, have you watched the Miss Universe pageant on CBS? Well, I've been watching the Miss Universe pageant since I was about eight years old, and I can't believe that I'm here now in it. <laughs> well, you are indeed. Now, you're 19, so she was... Three years old when I started doing the pageant. <laughs> of course, I was only 20 years old when I... Was... This fellow over here says, higher, higher. <laughs> Miss New Zealand, have you enjoyed your visit to St. Louis? Oh, it's been wonderful. It's one that I'm never going to forget. And the best thing of my visit has been the people of St. Louis. They've been so friendly and made everyone feel welcome. Thank you. Nicely put. Thank you. Now you'll see her score. And I'll talk with Miss Italy. She is Federica Moro. She is 18. She lives in Milan. And she is a high school student. And after finishing high school, what are your plans? Well, after entering the Miss Italy pageants, I had many open doors in modeling and I've been asked also to do some tryouts for actress and since I am a very curious girl maybe if something good is for me I, I get it but <clears throat> I'm interested in architecture and this is not really perfect for a, a language student but you know Italy is very full of arts and artists so maybe I'll become one of them I don't know now, do you remember what you said one time in rehearsal when I asked you what you'd like to talk about? Yes. What did you say? I said about Italian food. That's right. And especially now, this Now, I understand moment. that there are a lot of Italians in St. Louis. I bet they'd like to know what Italian... I bet they'd like to know what Italian food you like. Well, I could stay really here until tomorrow, but I would just make a short list. Uh, spaghetti and pizza but real Italian pizza yeah. most more than American pizza and <laughs> what, I like ravioli what, tortellini what has been your favorite American food hamburger <laughs> thank you Miss Italy she's got American on us already check her score and let's talk with you Miss Singapore she is Lily Bing she's 20 years old she just completed she just completed her studies in fashion design and what is your ambition? Um, to own my own boutique. You'd like and to have your sell own my own clothes, yeah. My own now, design. I wonder uh, what comments you might make for our American audience here on, on the fashions of American women. What have you observed? In American women dressing or what? The dresses, the clothes that American women wear. Do you like them? Yeah, it's very casual. I like that in jeans and t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what have you enjoyed most in the USA? Eating strawberries. <laughs> I don't know about you judges, but I bet you just got the vote of the strawberry growers of America. Thank you, Miss Singapore. Venezuela, please. She is Paola Ruggeri. She's 21 years old. She lives in Caracas. 
she attends Metropolitan University of Caracas, and although she speaks English, we'd like to have the Spanish-speaking interpreter just standing by. I'll, I'll ask you if, if she needs help. You're going to try this by yourself, aren't you? Yes, I will. Now, I'll try. I'll try going, my best. You're going to the university. What are you studying? I'm studying business administration, and I'm very near to finish my career. And I have three more classes in my thesis, and I'll get graduate. And what would you like to do or be after you graduate? Well, in general, I will succeed in all my ambitions. And that means finish my career and be a good professional, uh, a good mother then. Mm -hmm. And Not to be I'll a good try to help. Uh, How you say Como se dice? Try to help what? Your brother. Try to try help. To help. Hermano? Yeah. No, it's Hermano. <laughs> you stay out of this. <laughs> Well, well, if you want to be a, if you want, I'm, I'm only fully, he's really leaving. Uh, <laughs> if you want to be a professional, that requires self-discipline. What I was leading up to, I read in your bio that mm -hmm. you were on the swimming team yes. for your country mm -hmm. in the 1976 Olympics, and that required self-discipline, didn't yes. it? Yes. Very uh, disciplined. <laughs> you were in Montreal, were you? Yes, in Montreal. Uh, I turned my 15 years old there, and, well, I would like to tell you that. Uh, there's been a lot of coincidence in my life, and I'll turn 15 there, and I'll be 22 here and on Thursday. And, and I'm very glad to pass it here in St. Louis. Thank okay. you very much, Ms. Venezuela. At home, you see her score. Before we talk with you, Miss Ireland. She is Roberta Brown. She's 20. She lives in Londonderry. She's studying textiles and fashion. And we got off on athletics with Miss Venezuela. Now, I read about you in the sports pages, didn't I? <laughs> yes, it's not every day you get to knock over one of the world champions. In the football field, Darrell Porter, I knocked him over six times. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that's not the uh, athletic feat I was referring to. You're also a runner, aren't you? Yes, I'm a long-distance marathon runner, and I've run for seven years now, and in the world cross-country championships. If you're going to knock over Darrell Porter, it's a good idea to be able to run. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now... I believe that uh, your chaperone told me that you would like to open a health food store, is that correct? Yes, I hope perhaps next year to open a health food restaurant combined with the craft industry in the United States. Is it true you're looking for capital to do this? That's a very subtle hint. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was thinking is we might raise a little... How many, how many would like to invest in Miss Ireland's health food store? Just raise your... Look at this. Look. There, there are a lot of hands up and every one is attached to a young man. I think we can raise a lot of money. Thank you, Miss Thank Ireland. you. We're ready for you. Well, here she is. I turned my back on her and she sneaked up on me. Miss Norway, right over here in this good light. I want you to look just as pretty as you are. There you are. And she's Karen Elizabeth... Dublog, 21, just finished junior college, plans to attend the University of Oslo in the fall, and what do you want to study? I want to study English because uh, uh, I want to become a foreign diplomat, because I like uh, to travel, I like to take care of people and be around people, and I like to speak English. <laughs> and you already speak how many languages? I speak uh, English and a little of German and French. Uh -huh, and you want to be a diplomat for your country? For my country. Is yes. this your first visit to the United States? No, I've been here two times before. Where have you been before? I have been in Connecticut for quite a long time, and I've been traveling to several other states. Did you get to California? Yes, I was there one month. Did you see Disneyland? No, I did not, I'm afraid. I'll go back there, so I'll get to see this. Oh, yes, you have to see Mickey Mouse. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Norway. of our semi-finalists. How about it, you armchair judges? Is one of them going to be the new Miss Universe? I wish that all of you at home could be up here in this balcony with me watching this wonderful live telecast with the best seat in the house. But I'm going to the excitement with a little trivia, so let me try a question on you. What did the ice cream cone, the Lewis and Clark expedition, and the reign of the next Miss Universe have in common? Time's up. 
The answer is that they all began in St. Louis. The ice cream cone was born at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904, and it was just a hundred years earlier that Lewis and Clark began their exploration of the Louisiana Territory, and our new Miss Universe will, of course, begin her reign right here tonight. Who will she be? Well, I can give you a hint. She's either just been interviewed, or she's about to be interviewed by Bob Barker right down there. Bob is going to be back with the rest of our semifinalist interviews, but first, here's a message from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the 1983 Miss Universe.